through him yeah. too. So we understand that with this picture of scripture, that being small in stature or size, having a lack thereof, is not mean that does not mean that you uh, are helpless. Yeah. 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 You're not helpless. You know, uh, that would get you. You know, I'm from South Georgia. Yeah. And in South Georgia, everything is about football. Uh, yes. <laughs> And I'm country from where I'm from. I'm yeah. country. Uh, a deacon, right next, I'm country. And, 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 I, and I'm neck of the woods. We say things like, boy, you know that ball thing is cock strong. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know anything about being yeah. cock strong? Yeah. I've seen boys my size run over boys his size because they were cock strong. Because their stature did not mean that they were Helpless. Yeah. And we have a fourth picture in this, in this conversation that we're having. Uh, a size isn't a sign of yes. hopelessness. Yes, this is the yes. fourth, uh, fourth picture we want to paint. Hopelessness. Uh, when we think of hopelessness, we think of uh, 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 a given up mindset. Yeah. We think of a mind of throwing in on, the towel. Yeah. When we think of hopelessness, uh, Miss Lois, we think that there is no help huh. anywhere to be found. Oh, but I'm here to tell you today that your help is found. Oh, yeah. Come on, you yeah. Your help is found yeah. in, in the Lord. In this level of service that we give, we must have mental fortitude against that enemy known as hopeless. Yes. This will give stats oftentimes about preachers preaching this hope filled gospel but blowing their brains out. You know why? Do you understand why? They lost their hopefulness. And you must understand, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, and I know I'm talking to somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody I need you to pray. Yeah. 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 I know I'm speaking to somebody, and you're in time like a whole show, I my skin. Yeah. You're in situations, and you think that those things have you hopeless, but you have to know that your hope is fine. It's you. You won't be hopeless. I remember very specifically this picture. Uh, uh, of a woman with an issue of blood. Yeah. It was many years. Yeah. Everything around her told her that the situation was hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor after doctor. Yeah. Come on. Dime after dime. Yeah. And at that time, you know, you didn't, women were second class citizens. <laughs> she gave all she had. 32 yeah. years. Yeah. Issue of blood. But her mindset never changed. Yeah. She kept her hopefulness. Yeah. Come on, she said, if I could just touch yeah. my God. The heel of this woman. You know what? Job said something like this, uh, uh, there is hope for a tree. Yeah. 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 Because he said, at the scent of wood. Yeah. At the scent, not at the drop, but at the smell yeah. of wood. Yes, sir, it's your spot. Yeah. You have to know that you have to keep your hope for next. Because your size yeah. is not a sign yeah. of hopeless. You know, as we peruse the pericope of this particular passage, the text is tailored to teach us four things. Come on, say four things. 